I've suffered with depression for many years. I had a bad marriage and my husband left me and um, I had two children. But he didn't just leave me, he left and come back and left and come back and left and come back and then eventually he left. But by the time he'd left, I was in a heap. So much so that I tried to commit suicide. Um, it wasn't a cry for help. I meant to commit suicide. I couldn't take any more. I was taken to hospital, unfortunately I was found and I was resuscitated. And to this day, I remember waking up and thinking, oh no. And I was so sad that I hadn't been successful. I knew I was leaving two children, but I, I, I knew that they would be looked after by my sister who had the means to do it. This feeling of wishing that I'd been successful in committing suicide is something that during the 40 years since then, in times of severe strain has come back to me. I've been married for 35 years now. My two children now have children of their own, but I, I work part-time and I'd started going to bed early um, in the afternoon. Bed was my safe place, you couldn't get up in bed. And my husband said to me, I think you need to go to the doctors. And I said, why? And he said, there's something the matter, you're not right. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I, I was just, there was no enjoyment out of life for me, let's put it that way. I remember last year we went on holiday and we went to an Airbnb until the dog with us. And um, we were walking around a little village in the Cotswolds. And I was walking around a graveyard there. And um, there was a, a new grave there and the flowers were still on top of the grave. And I stood there and looked at it and I read the cards on the thing and it was a 35 year old lady that was there. And I just stood and looked and looked. And I remember thinking that for her, it was all over. And I almost envied her. And it frightened me. But I still didn't want to go to the doctors. Then one day I was at work and I read this article about flow its credentials and that the NHS were trialling it. And I thought, well, let's give it a go. I've never been a me person. I've been a me doing things for other people. I've been a wife, I've been a mother, I've been a dog owner. I've never really done anything for me. I'd lost one and a half stone in weight. My flow said I had to eat and shop for myself and shop for things that, that, that were good and, and sit down and eat and don't eat on the run. I followed it to the degree. About three weeks into flow, I was driving home from work and it was on a Sunday afternoon and I had the radio on and somebody said something and it made me laugh. And I laughed out loud. And I thought, I laughed. I felt like I was alive. And when I got home, I said to my husband, just laugh. And he said, <laughs> and I said, you don't know what that means. I just thought, Flo's done that.